This video is an introduction to lazy mode in Polaris. The video is taken from my online course, Data Analysis with Polaris. If you're interested in learning more, check out the link below. Lazy mode one, introducing lazy mode. Lazy mode's a key reason why Polaris is such a powerful data analysis tool. We'll start introducing it here. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to create a lazy frame from a CSV file, explain the difference between a data frame and a lazy frame, and you'll be able to print the optimized query plan. Lazy mode gets us thinking about whether we're writing code or writing queries. Data analysis often involves multiple steps. For example, you might have to load data from a file or database, do some transformations on the data, group by a column, and so on and so on. We call the full set of steps a query. Now we can write some lines of code that carry out a query step by step in eager mode. But there are two problems with this approach. Firstly, each line of code is not aware of what the others are doing. And secondly, each line of code requires copying the full data frame. Instead, we can write the steps as an integrated query in lazy mode. With an integrated query, a query optimizer can identify efficiencies in terms of how the query can be executed, and the query engine can minimize the memory usage and produce a single output. So first, let's define what we mean more exactly by eager and lazy modes. In eager mode, each line of code is run as soon as it is encountered. In lazy mode, each line of code is added to a query plan. That query plan is optimized, and the whole thing is then run in one go. Now we're going to introduce lazy mode in this lesson, and we'll revisit it again and again throughout the course. Now we'll start by importing Polar's SPL and setting the path to our CSV file. Let's first create a data frame and a lazy frame. In eager mode, we read a CSV with pl.readcsv, and this creates a data frame. In lazy mode, we scan a CSV with pl.scanCSV, and this creates a lazy frame. We'll be looking at what happens when you scan a CSV in more detail in the I.O. section later on. We can confirm the types of DF eager and DF lazy by printing out their types. And we see here that DF eager is a data frame and DF lazy is a lazy frame. So what's the difference between a data frame and a lazy frame? Well, if we print a data frame, we see data. Here we print out the first two rows of DF eager. But if we print a lazy frame, we see a query plan. The key message is this. If you do something, apply a transformation, say, to a data frame, it updates the data. If you do something to a lazy frame, it updates the query plan. So what does Polars actually do with query plans? Firstly, Polars creates what it calls a naive query plan from your query. And this is what you see up here when you print DF lazy. But then Polars doesn't actually run that naive query plan. Instead, it passes the naive query plan to its query optimizer. And the query optimizer looks for more efficient ways to arrive at the output that you want. We can see the output of this query optimizer by calling describe optimize plan on a lazy frame. In this case here, there aren't any transformations, we're just reading a CSV, so the optimized plan is the same as the naive plan in that we read the CSV file, select all the columns, and don't do any filtering. So you might be wondering, what kind of query optimizations can be applied? Well, the first thing to note is that query optimizations aren't magic. Most optimizations could be implemented by users in a well-written query if the user knows that the optimization exists, remembers to implement the optimization, and implements the optimization correctly. Polars means you don't have to worry about any of these steps and the optimizations are applied automatically. Here's a list of some of the optimizations. For example, the first one is called projection pushdown. And this is where you limit the number of columns read to those required for the query. The second one is called predicate pushdown. And this is where any filter conditions are applied as early as possible in the query. There's a related one called slice pushdown and this is when you only want a subset of rows to be outputted, and so you make sure that you only process a limited number of rows if possible. Then we have combined predicates, which is where you combine multiple filter conditions into a single filter condition, and then common subplan elimination. And this is where you have a complicated transformation 
that contains some duplicate work in different parts of the query plan, and Polaris looks to eliminate that duplication and just do the transformation once. And these are just a selection of the optimizations that Polaris applies. There are also other optimizations that Polaris does. For example, if you've got sorted data, we'll see that it applies FastPath algorithms on that sorted data, but these optimizations are separate from the query optimizer. So that's our introduction to lazy mode. We'll leave you with some exercises below. And in the exercises, you'll develop your understanding of creating a lazy frame from a CSV file and printing the query plans. So that's it for this lecture. Make sure you check out the course at the link below and subscribe to learn more about Polars.